Well, hello, it's Hop Along Donnie Walker. How's it going today? TGIF, by the way. Didn't realize it was Friday until a couple hours ago. I'm like, oh my God, where have I been? But because I've been hopping along for so long and um, it just days go by and I just don't really care what day it is. Someone a while ago was asking me um, what the ring gap is on, on, on a chainsaw ring. I'm like, oh my God, I hardly... Even I don't think I've really ever measured too many of them, you know? You know, like, um, all OEM stuff, I've, I've never had to measure, you know? Like, I just, if I have to change a cylinder and piston, um, I just change it, you know? Th through my lifetime of doing saws for almost 50 years, I've hardly ever changed rings on saws, you know? Like, once in a while I will, if a guy's uh, been using in a real dusty, dirty environment, like, slashing in the side of a road, a dirt road, with all that dust in the trees, you can wear out a ring in no time. Um, and a crank, too, you know, a lot of cranks go out, too, with that, that dust going through them. But I thought, you know, I'm just going to check this. This is the, the 2165, or 2065 that I'm doing, uh, that I did a video a while ago about changing the crankcase. So I made it half a Husky and half a John Shred because the one side was no good. And I'm going to go do another video of that after um, this one. When I uh, put it back together and, and dial in the cylinder here. So I've already cleaned up the cylinder. I've cleaned the combustion chamber up. It had, had carbon in it. And ported the exhaust. Done the transfer lowers. A little bit on the hires. And just cleaned up the intake bottom. And got the piston all cleaned up. It wasn't scored, but it had one little line down the exhaust side here that I cleaned up, and I got a little bit more to do, but it's pretty much there. It's a one-ring piston. That's the way these came, just like 365 Huskies, which is the same saw, really. Different color and a couple of different shaped covers on it, you know, top cover and the starter. So anyways, um, yeah. So I just did, did a check on this one. The original ring in this thing, and, and you know, really, this saw... I don't think it had a lot of use or it's had some parts changed on it because someone wrote 2165 in the top so why would that write that on there if it was if it was original right i think someone had this in a box and marked it but anyways we, we don't care about that so the original ring um had 15 thousandths clearance 15 thousandths ring gap the new ring that i'm putting in it putting in it a bad mouth today I can't get my words right has 10 thou just snug 10 thou and the 15 was was kind of just sliding through so this ring is 5 thou war which ain't which ain't a huge amount it'll still run with this one but uh i'm changing it anyways because i've already put new bearings and seals in the bottom end um you know different crankcase that the bearing holds in okay so yeah, we'll put a ring in it and going to finish this build off. I've just honed this cylinder and a lot of people uh, question that too on honing cylinders. Well, yes, you can you, you can hone them or, or, or let's say clean them up, but you can't bore them because they're chrome line cylinders. And a lot of, a lot of people think they're getting their saws modified that they're... Oh, yeah. I'm getting it bored out, man, and it's going to just going to haul ass, right? Well, it's not getting bored out. It's getting ported out, and the bore, unless you put a big bore aftermarket cylinder on it, then you get more displacement, but no. Two strokes are basically like a compressor motor. Air in, air out as quick as you can, and at the right time. You know, four strokes, totally different. Doing a four-stroke, like putting a, like a dyno cam in a Honda or something, or uh, an RV cam in your car engine, like your 350 Chevy or something, that's how you get horsepower in a, in a, in a four-stroke um, car motor or truck motor. You know, that's how everyone's like, oh, I got headers in an RV cam, woohoo! Or in a two-stroke, oh, I got it ported in a modded muffler. So that's what you want to talk about, right? So, yeah, this is a nice cylinder gonna work out okay for the fella he's uh from newfoundland i think yeah 
I don't have his name in front of me. Oh, I do, actually. Todd Lynch. Newfoundland. Spaniards Bay. Spaniards Bay, Newfoundland. Yep, I'm getting there happening, buddy. I'm sorry it's taking a long time, but I keep running into the little problems on this thing. You're lucky I got patience, and I have lots of extra parts, so I'm helping you out big time, buddy. I wouldn't have actually done this saw, but because he sets it all the way from there, and I just thought it'd be a good one to, to do and show some videos, and plus give him a, a decent John's Han Sered back. I can't figure out what to call it because it's kind of half husky and half John's here. Should we call it Hansered or or Husker Husker Red? I don't know. You name it. Anyways, it's been a good week. I've uh, been going to the pool every day. Um, keep talking about it, but yeah, I'm almost walking. I keep saying that, almost. But. Oh, it's been hard. Been very hard. Quite depressing, actually, but I made the best of it. Try to keep a smile on my face and keep motivated. I'm sorry uh, I've been way behind on a lot of stuff for some people, but I'm getting there. I got a couple saws packaged up right now to send back to New York to a fella, Daniel. Uh, three Brand new 372 that I did, one of the new ones from Malaysia. No, it's not that new. It was built in 2020, but so is the US 390 that I've sold him that I've uh, walkerized and cleaned up. And he's going to like that saw. It's a, it's a nice 390. It was in very good shape. I just cleaned it up, did some some, some porting to it, and changed a couple um, appearances on it that were kind of bummed out, like the side cover and a few, a few, a few other things like that. Anyways, I just thought I would... Um, crack off a video today on TGIF. Hope you all have a good weekend. Keep us on the woods, stick in the ice, rubbing the road. Get out and do some fishing, hunting, whatever you're up to. Dancing. I will be soon. Ah, here I go again. Soon. It's always soon. Okay, there you go. Ten thousands for an OEM ring clearance. On a John Shred 2165 cylinder, or if you want to call it a Husqvarna 365 uh, standard one, 365 special, 365 regular one, but not an X Torque. Never measured an X Torque one, and yeah, maybe I will one day and, and share that with you. Anyways, have a great weekend. We'll catch you all later, maybe on Monday Blues. Don't be blue, smile. Keep your solid with bite.